I am starting PT school in September and I wanted to become a paperless student because throughout undergrad, I just had papers everywhere and no matter how organized I tried to be, it just never worked out. I have a iPad Pro and I got the 12.9 inch version. So I got the bigger screen. I did that because I knew I wanted the bigger screen. Originally I wasn't going to do it, but that was the only one they had in stock. So I guess it was fate. But anyway, I'm really happy that I got the bigger screen because I think it's going to be easier to take notes with the larger screen. Um, anyway, so some additional things I have is I have the Apple Pencil. <clears throat> I have the second generation Apple Pencil, which is the one that's compatible with this iPad. I believe the first one isn't compatible. I'm not quite sure though. So something really cool about this is, so it the way it charges is it has, there's a magnet and it sticks to the side of your iPad. So you don't have to worry about losing it. And then I know the other one, you had to like plug it in to pair. A couple additional things I have is I got this case off of Amazon. It's just a simple case. It was like the cheapest option. <laughs> so I just got gray and um, when you close it, it locks your iPad for you. So when you open it, it will it will like wake up the screen. Another thing is that I saw was people would get grippy things like skins or sleeves for their Apple Pencil. However, I don't think that's beneficial because it messes up the magnet function. And it this is actually pretty heavy. It doesn't look like it, but it's a heavy pencil. There's good grip. I don't have any issues with it like slipping, sliding out of my fingers. Um, I hold my pencil funny, but I don't think that has anything to do with it. And also I'm left-handed, so I was really worried about how to write as a left-handed person on an iPad and if it was the same experience as a right-handed person because all the videos that I had watched previously with other people, they were right, always right-handed. But I can tell you that it actually is a great experience. I haven't had any issues doing that. Let's get started. So one more thing that I have is I have a paper-like screen pr protector on. You can, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's not the um, branded paper-like one. It's the, just a Amazon paper-like one. It works fine and it sounds like paper. So that's really cool to me. I'm just gonna walk you through a normal day as if I was taking notes, so. The first thing I would do is I would go to Blackboard or Canvas. PG School hasn't started for me yet, so I don't really have any PowerPoints yet, but I have old ones from um, my undergrad classes. So first I'd go to Drive and then I would find my PowerPoint and I always back up my, um, my PowerPoints to my Drive. So what I do first is I put it in my Drive and then, but I click it and then so this is my lecture and I make sure everything's right and it is, and then so I would go to the three dots, and then what I do is I press open in, open in, and then I scroll over, and I press notability, okay? And then it says one file sent. And I do this all before class, just so I'm ready. Like as soon as I get into class, cause I'm usually running late cause I'm a commuter student. So I just wanna have, make sure everything's ready. I can take my notes as soon as I get there. So basically what I do, so this is the new one. So as soon as you open your note notability, you could either go to all notes, unfiled notes, whatever you wanna do. And um, you go to your PowerPoint and then so I would be in class at this point and I would have my PowerPoint opened and I would click the um, the little pencil tool. So there's a couple tools. So here's like an undo arrow. So say if I write, I can press undo and it will get rid of it. Here's the text option where you can make a text box. Here's the pen option and there's options for your pens. So I like to use the normal one, the less pressure sensitive pen. I think this is called like the ball pen and this is the fountain pen. I like to use this one, the one on the left and um, this size because it just goes well with my writing. I, I just stick with black ink. Um, then here's your highlighter. You can also have like different preferences for your highlighter. I just stick with yellow. Um, your eraser. 
there's the settings for your eraser and then your cut option. So if you wanted to cut out a piece and copy it, I'll get back to that later. And then there's your pan option if you just wanted to pan the entire thing. Uh, highlight important information such as this one. I had an exam that Thursday, I guess. So yeah, it's important and I need to scan <laughs> Anyway, so, and then here's where the notes actually start. So. Um, the first slide, it says therapeutic approaches to improve graph survival. There's two, so highlight, highlight, so there's two different types, and then, um, and then there's some questions, and so she probably would be going over this in, a, in her lecture. So um, some negative consequences the patient would have is um, they might get more sick or they might be more susceptible to sickness. So I just write that in the side over here. So I'd zoom in using two fingers, just the pinch and zoom. And then I would write. And I write that, and then it's right there, it's on the side. All right, and then, then I go down and here. And then I would just keep going, just take your notes, and I annotate my notes first. So I make sure I have all the information first. Um, some people don't like to do that, but um, the reason that I do it this way is that I just don't have enough time in my classes with the way my classes are spread out to um, take pretty notes during lecture. I don't have the time to do that. It's too fast paced and I want to be actively paying attention anyways. I don't want to be worried about, oh, like, does my handwriting look pretty, you know? So, um, depending on the day and depending on how much time I have or if I have a test tomorrow or where I'm at in my flashcard making, this might be the only step I do. If I want to take my notes though and I have time to take my notes, what I would do is I'm finished my notes, I would go back. So what I would do is I would go to Good Notes and something really cool about good notes is their organization so as you can see here you can organize by date name type um, so I already have an immuno folder created but the way you would do that is you go to setting or you go to new and then you press folder and you can name it done and then so I'm gonna take this drag it in there um, you just saw where I'm going to PD school, I'm going to the University of Delaware. Um, but yeah, so basically everything you have is in that folder now. So now when I look at my screen, I have important documents and Amino, and I want Amino because that's those are the notes I just took. Um, so this is my actual notebook, but I'm gonna use make a new one to show you guys how I do it. Um, so I press new and then I press notebook, and then you can Pick any kind of paper you want. I do A4 because that's the size of printer paper, a normal college ruled paper. So if you do print out your notes ever, it's the right size for that. You don't have to readjust anything. Um, also the cover, they have a lot of cover options for people who want to be creative, but I'm just going to stick with this pink. And the paper that I like, so I like A4 and I like white dot or grid. Okay, so here's my new one. This is the cover. Um, and then here's where I'm at now. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it this way and readjust. Okay. And then I'm going to open Notability and I'm just going to split screen it. And then I put it all the way almost like tiny, 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 tiny. And then I'm going to make my title. So the title of this lecture is TCR signaling. That's what I'm going to name it. And I'm going to go here and name it. So the fanciest I, this is the fanciest I get with my title. Thursday. Okay. And then something really cool that um, that GoodNotes has is this blue 
box. You'll see it when I start writing. So I'm just gonna start writing and show you it. Um, okay, so I'll start here. So I'm gonna change back to black and I'm gonna I'm going to use this tool, a cutting tool, and so say these drugs I need to know for this test, I, I just make my square, so I press that cutting tool, make this rectangle, and then press copy, and then I go over to this side and press paste, and then you can just put it right there, and then I can add like my little notes saying, um, okay, and then so I can add pictures, and that's how I add pictures, and then so... Say I'm finished and I added all the pictures and wrote all the notes that I wanted to take. I usually readjust my notes, so I will take this little tool and then zoom very far in because if you like mess it up, it'll take something that you don't want it to take. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just take this part so far and move it like that and then take that. Kind of move it down so that they're not touching each other. Um, In there and then I just like kind of scooch everything over I like to at least just so it's nice and then something else you can do there you go you can resize it and I use this option a lot so you just highlight and then you can resize and I like to make it smaller usually just so I can fit more and then I'll move my picture to like the right spot and I can resize that picture and then I can do the same thing with what I had under the picture, move it, and then like once you get better at this, it gets it's like really fast. It's just like almost second nature, and then I'll put it. And move it right under, and then I just feel like it makes your notes look a little bit better when you can fit more on a page. Um, yeah, so that's just how I do it. And then if I wanted to print it out, I would, or if I just wanted to split screen with my Quizlet app. I would just put this information in my Quizlet and that's how I would study it normally. And then, um, yeah, so that's how I do it. And then usually I'll back them up to Drive again or back them up to iCloud, depending on what your preference is. I just like Google Drive more. Um, so I just back them up. So like that's my important documents that you already saw that's backed up here. Um, just so in case something did happen to my iPad, I would I would be able to access them. Yeah, so that's about it. So I use Notability and GoodNotes, and I'm sure I'm going to do a comparison on the app in the future. Um, yeah, that's it. Happy note-taking, guys.